Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my mom and today we're going to be doing the judge a book by its cover challenge. So I'm going to show her a bunch of books and then ask her if she can tell me what she thinks they're about based on their cover. Some of these books I've told you about before. I don't know if you remember what they're about. Um, but yeah, she has read a couple of books that I've suggested. Like she's read the Court of Thorns and Roses series. Well, you've read the first two, not the last one. And what else? You've also read the Nightingale, Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. And what's that other one that I didn't read, but you've read The it. last one's the Summer, the Summer Garden. Garden. What's the first one? Tatiana and Alexander, that's the second mm -hmm. one. That series. Oh, The Bronze Horseman. That series. Yes. She's read that series and I haven't read it. But yeah, she normally doesn't read why she reads like Jeffrey Deaver and like mystery crime Michael thriller. Crichton. Michael Crichton. Science fiction. And like historical fiction. So she's read a couple of books that I read, but most of them she hasn't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the first book. This is the first book. <laughs> Can you see it? Okay. This is the first book. <laughs> Don't read anything on it though. Okay, well, I'm supposed to tell you what it's about. Yeah, it's The Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia. Well, they're in high school. And <laughs> he's bad boy and she's not, but she looks like she's dressing like a bad girl. <laughs> I, the lovely, and it just turns into this wonderful romance because they understand each other. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it, except she, so he races, he like street races, and she kind of has like a torn up past, and so she kind of gets into street racing with him. But you, you like, I'll give you a point, because you got the whole bad boy thing. This cover and is so awful. And I get so the awful. reckless part, like reckless driving. Yeah, I mean, that's in the title, but <laughs> you still get it. So yeah, I'll give you a point. Okay, this is another really, really super popular one. Let's see, it's City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Okay, fantasy. Okay. And this guy is a sorcerer with a sword and he's looking at tarot cards and he's distraught. Because <laughs> he's bent over? No, he's got magic in his fingers. Oh. He's looking at the future. So, I, okay. City of Bones, I've read a book with that title, but it was a murder mystery. Well. That's not this. This book, he's not a sorcerer. There. Okay, the thing is, is with this book, I don't like it. Like, I really dislike this book, but it's a super popular book, so that's why I picked it. Um, this is, they're called Shadow Hunters, and what they do is they, like, fight these demons, shadows, things, and I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's too thick for what it was. Like, this is too many pages <laughs> for this book, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to give you the point, but I can't even describe it myself, so it's not your fault. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the next one. This is a series that you should know about because I have read this series probably every summer since, since I like started reading, and I've talked about it before. So it's the Summer I Turned Pretty series by Jenny Han. <laughs> I would imagine it's about a young girl. Okay. She's not confident with herself. Okay. And during the summer, she has different experiences that help her mature. That's her broad. Well, that picture is so a beach. <laughs> no. She's at the beach. Okay, she's at the beach. Summer, I turned pretty, so she... Somebody gave her confidence to feel that she was... Yeah. Worthy. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, from the cover, that's what you can tell, but I've... I've read this book so many times, you should know. Um, this is where she goes to this beach with two of her, like, guy friends and their mom. And she has, like, a love triangle with them. So. Maybe I've read it. No. Oh. It, it's honestly, it's not very good. But, like, it's one of those that's nostalgic for me. So that's why I like it. reading it. It's nostalgic. Because oh. it reminds me of, like, the beach we go to and, like, it's just one of those things. It's, it's, you would not like it, but <laughs> she's really angsty. But yeah, I think you get a point for that, for saying that she like gets confidence and like grows into herself. I don't know. It's a summer romance. Yeah, it's a summer romance. Okay, next one saying romance. This is Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios. And I just read this. This is that one, isn't it? The one you said that um, it was a horrible, um, abusive relationship. Yes. yes. Yes, I just read that one. I'm glad you remember. Pretty clever. I think it's so cool. 
very uh, intense subject. Yeah, it, it is. It's I, I got this one as an ARC and I recently bought it because it was so good and I loved it. But it's a book, I've talked about it before, but it's a book about a really toxic relationship of a girl in high school and how it can escalate from like just like subtle comments that you don't really think are that meaningful and then it gets worse and worse. But I love this book, but yeah, you got that. That was really good. Okay, next one. This mm, is The matter. Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. You've read this. You've told me about this one too. I have. But I forget. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've read so many books, it's kind of hard for me to remember. Yeah. But is this kind of like Court of Thorns and Roses with like fantasy? It is fantasy, like it has magical stuff in it, but it's not. Are the like boys, are they birds? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, they're birds. Like, no, they're I not. That my book was a. Was a oh, Reese? Yeah. <laughs> You're right. He was a. Well, he was like a fae and he had wings. Okay, I get that. He had wings. <laughs> no, so, they're not birds. Don't don't read that. Okay, Wait, just. Oh, just guess. Okay, the Raven Boys. So is it like the Lost Boys or a group of boys that fight crime? That's kind of close. There, it's a group of boys who are searching for a lost, what is it? It's like a lost prince or like Gaelic, hold on. <laughs> but there's also a girl in it named Blue and she has something special about her. What do you think? Like she eats lots of blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> She's not like Violet from, <laughs> from <laughs> Willy Wonka. Wonka. <laughs> yeah, she She's eats blue. She turns, uh, she can freeze people. Just because she's her name is Blue? Well, I don't know. <laughs> no. She no. can put trances on the boys. No. Her deal is that she lives with, her whole family is a bunch of psychics, but she's not a psychic. But everyone has always told her that if she kisses her true love, he will die. Or she kisses anybody, she'll die. Or he'll die. So that's why she like doesn't kiss anybody. Obviously, like, she doesn't know if it's going to be her true love. Do one of these boys like her? I don't know, but yeah, you, I mean, no you kissing birds, <laughs> ew, <laughs> that's so <laughs> gross, but I mean, you get like a point for, I guess, but you can, mm, I didn't get no, 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 this one's Shatter Me by Teta Mafi, all right, is this one, I don't know if I told you about this one, it looks like this girl has torment in her head, <laughs> I think every YA and book is about a girl with <laughs> torment in her head. The, the cover is she... really not helpful. It's not. Okay. Well, what do you think that means? My touch is lethal, my touch is power. So she has to learn to use her powers for good, not bad. Kind of. Because she's she has powers that are too strong and they hurt people. But she wants to use them in a good way. Yeah, I mean pretty much. her. If she touches somebody, they die. Pretty much, so like she, <laughs> she yeah, she's very power. She doesn't touch people because obviously She'll she kill killed them. someone. Yeah, so she doesn't kill them. So she goes into this institution where there's like these boys, and it's like a little love triangle deal again. You know, Ooh. that's a whole YA thing. A lot of triangles. Yeah, but yes, she wants to like not kill people obviously, and wants to use her power for good. So I'll give you a point for that because that cover is not helpful whatsoever. This one is The First Time She Drowned by Carrie Clutter. I've talked about this book a lot. I really like this book. This one's like, I'll give you a hint. This is another like hard hitting one. I think I, yeah, I told you about this one. Another relationship, bad relationship? Mm -hmm. With she and her dad. No. Oh. Uncle. <laughs> Uncle. She and her uncle. Family member. Yeah. Brother. No. Ooh. Cousin. No, <laughs> you missed the one person that's like... Her dad. I said dad. What's Grandpa. The... <laughs> What's the opposite? Mom. Yes. Oh, her mom's really mean to her. Yes. She yes. has a really toxic relationship with her mom. And it's yes. kind of... Yes, said it was horrible and that... Oh. Yeah. It's... Yeah, so bad. And that the first time she drowned, I guess it, it just kind of shows the times where like she her mom was so toxic to her and it just kind of just put her under, you know, like yeah. that whole deal. But 
yeah, that is, it's a bad relationship with her mom and kind of how she deals with that. Oh, and also her, it says in the description that her mom puts her unwillingly into an insane asylum. So that's cool. Um, don't do that to me, okay? <laughs> this is Rose Blood by A.G. Howard. I have an extra copy of this one if you'd like to have like a giveaway. What? I think I actually accidentally bought it twice. <gasps> I was but like, what are you talking about? It's in the gift closet, so if you want to give a giveaway or something. She's literally organizing a giveaway on my channel. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I didn't know about that, but okay. we'll set that up to do a giveaway for Rosebud. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> what is this about? Um, it's, uh, this girl is some thorns and chains, and she's the phantom. She's hiding from something. Or is this one of those fantasy things? Well, no, you were like close when you said something. The thorns of the roses and the... She's hiding from... No. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, this is like a... What is that? The phantom. Yeah, it's a phantom of the opera retelling. <gasps> yeah, that's why I wanted it, because she knows I like the phantom of the opera. But this, I think she goes to a boarding school and she meets a boy who's like really mysterious and he's like... Spo it, it's not obviously it's not exact, but it's, it's based off of the phantom oh, of the opera. Cool. So yeah, and look, the pages, they're written in red, like the ink is red. So look out for that giveaway <laughs> that my mom is organizing on my channel. <laughs> this next one is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. 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 Yeah, it's fine. Sarah J. Mass. So she's read oh, her she's, other series. She's like a warrior. Um, Throne of Glass. So she's trying to told you about this one too. I think you would like it. Be the queen of the throne. Mm. And the throne is very delicate. <laughs> You're taking everything so literally. <laughs> it's a very delicate throne. Oh, she reminds, it reminds me of um, that series that they made into a movie. Hunger Games? The other one. Divergent? Yeah. That's who she reminds me of. She looks like she's this, divergent. Just that powerful woman yeah. thing. Okay, so she's holding weapons, don't you see? Yeah, like sword or something. Yeah, so what it, so you so said she's, she's like a warrior? A knight. Mm, you're kind of close. She kills people. <laughs> she's a, is she a vigilante or a bad person? Well, she's an assassin, so yeah. But her whole deal, this first book is basically about her competing in a game to become the king's assassin. Like, so, working for the king to kill the people he obviously is trying to get rid of. Um, so that's why I think you would like it, would because like you, like, you like the games thing. This is, this is kind of Hunger games -y in the first book. It kind of changes along the storyline, but obviously they can't have, like, the game go on for right. all the series. But that's pretty good. Okay, the next one <laughs> is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I've read this whole series. Yeah, and we love the movies, too. Is this the first one? Yeah. Oh, I, I shouldn't have told you that, but it is the first one. Well, no, I, I what is kind of remembered. What's Harry Potter about? I mean, we Aww, we he's this sweet little wizard boy. That, <laughs> sweet little wizard boy. He is. He's yeah. precious. He's goes in there. He's so naive. He's so little. He's tiny. He's only eleven. It's so tiny. And he's going to Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. Yeah. I mean, she knows about Harry Potter. I just thought I would throw this one in as a joke, but. But we I love Harry Potter. Yeah, we, our whole family loves Harry Potter, and we just went and saw the symphony play Harry Potter, like the scores while you watch the movie. It was like the coolest thing I've ever been to because they play it while you watch it. It's crazy. But anyway, extra. Yeah, I put that in there as a joke. And then this last one is one that I'm not. Po I think I've told you about this one, but I think you probably have not yet. Black page. Maybe. Yeah, this is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. One of my favorites, as many others. Love this book. Okay, so it's about these outcasts that <laughs> she just read the front, and they need to pull off the ultimate heist. Is that what that says? But yes, she read the front of it. But anyways, I've told you about this before. I really I'm like impossible heist. Okay, tell me again. So it's about these six different people who all come together because they want to obviously perform a big heist and the characters are so good and so well developed and all have so much depth and I love them so I might read that one you I think I you would really enjoy one. it too 
it this one's a little bit it's not slow paced but it's kind of got to do the build up of the heist then the next book is like the like the effects of the heist and it's so oh, good. and it's so only a seven. duology oh, okay so it goes by really quick i read it in like a month and i was really sad because it's over like i like duologies trill trilogy trilogies trilogies <laughs> not so much yeah like you sometimes it, you lose interest but yeah. this this is a series i think people love to read like back to back and it's done and you're you're glad you read it so that's that one <laughs> and that's it that's all the books i have so thanks mom for being here <laughs> and if you guys enjoyed you guys can like the video and subscribe also i just wanted to say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers i think that is insane i like thinking about a thousand people like in one space is crazy like that doesn't seem real but anyways thank you so so much i'm going to figure out how to do the rose blood giveaway if that sounds interesting to you guys let me know um and yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs> <laughs> you gotta record it ah, ah, ah.